Andor is the most grounded Star Wars you'll you'll get. You know, this is about the people. Uh, there is no Jedi's around. It's very dark times in the galaxy. It should feel realistic to you because we want that proximity. We want to you to reflect yourself in these characters and this journey. While you were filming Rogue One, how much time did you spend thinking about Cassian Andor's backstory? And did this line up with what you imagined? Yes, definitely. Uh, I mean, it did. Essentially, it does, you know, like there is, we, when when Tony Gilroy pitched me his idea for the season and for the, for the story, uh, we were in tune, you know, it's there in essence, obviously. Um, and I did, I did thought a lot about the background of Cassian and created my own stories, you know, in order to have an answer and to make sure that that there was some logic uh, applied to every choice of my character, you know. There's so many questions that I, I wanted answers, but that audiences don't have, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. The the Rogue One is a is a film pretty much about an event, and now we're gonna get to tell you uh, who this character was, uh, is uh, who this character. Um, or, or who's around this character? Who matters to him? Um, what happened in his childhood? What what is it, what what strengths he has? What weaknesses he he has? Uh, and and what does he carry in his shoulders? You know, he always talks in Rogue One about a a dark past, a difficult past. Uh, now we'll get to know what that is. As an executive producer on this show, what do you think Andor does that Star Wars hasn't explored yet? I wouldn't even say it that way. I, but what I what I would say is that Andor is the most grounded Star Wars you'll you'll get. You know, this is about the people. Uh, there is no Jedi's around. It's very dark times in the galaxy. It's when uh, when when the people have to come together, you know, and articulate a response, work in communities because the empire is growing and control is everywhere. Uh, people have been marginalized and uh, and. Uh, yeah, there's no freedom, and and you have these communities having to to react. You know, uh, it's 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 the most you know uh, human that the experience of Star Wars can get. You know, this Star Wars is about regular people like you and me, mm -hmm. uh, and and I think that connection is going to be special. You know, it, it, it's the most realistic, if you can say it, <laughs> if you can say realistic, because obviously they, they live in a galaxy far, far away. But it's it should feel realistic to you because we want that proximity. We want to you to reflect yourself in these characters and this journey. Genevieve and I were just talking about this, so I want your opinion. There's this famous line um, where she says, where Mon Mothma says, many Bothans died to bring us these plans. Do you think it's a bunch of Bothans or one man named Manny Bothans who brought the plans? Well, well go again. Can you <laughs> rephrase that question? Do you remember the the line? It's like many Bothans died to bring us these plans. It's like in Return of the Jedi. Uh huh. Do you think it's a bunch of Bothans like creatures, or do you think it's just one man and his name is Manny Bothans? No, <laughs> yeah, I think it's a bunch of them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Diego. So good to see you. I got a wrap, but congrats on Andor. It's awesome. <laughs> thank you.